His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty extended deepest condolences to the UAE President over the demise of Abu Dhabi ruler's representative, His Highness Sheikh Saeed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa arrived in the UAE to extend his condolences to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, following the demise of the representative of the ruler of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Saeed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness conveyed the condolences of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed and the senior members of the Nahyan royal family. He also extended his condolences to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed and to the senior members of the Nahyan royal family, noting that his thoughts and prayers are with them at this time. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Commander of the National Guard General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rasha bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Director General of the Royal Family Council Sheikh Salman bin Khalid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed extended his greetings to His Majesty the King and expressed his sincere gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness and the accompanying delegation for their heartfelt condolences and sympathy. His Royal Highness then departed the UAE for Bahrain and was bid farewell by the Deputy Chief of Staff of the UAE Armed Forces, Staff Major General Pilot Sheikh Ahmed bin Tahnoun bin Mohammed Al Nahyan, as well as a number of senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa arrived in the UAE to extend his condolences to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, following the demise of the representative of the ruler of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Saeed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Commander of the National Guard General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah. Khalifa and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Zayani, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Director General of the Royal Family Council, Sheikh Salman bin Khalid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by the UAE Deputy Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces, Major General Pilot Sheikh Ahmed bin Tahnoun bin Mohammed Al Nahyan. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, following the demise of the representative of the ruler of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Saeed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Royal Highness also sent a cable to the Vice President, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of the Presidential Court of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, mourned his late brother, the representative of the ruler of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Saeed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, who passed away today. The Office of the Presidency in the Emirates announced an official mourning period of three days, with the flag flown at half mast starting today and ending on Saturday. The President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, performed the funeral prayer for the late His Highness Sheikh Saeed bin Zayed Al Nahyan at the Sheikh Sultan bin Zayed I Mosque in Abu Dhabi. The Sheikhs of Al Nahyan family also performed the prayer, and the worshippers prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed buried the body of the deceased in the Lubtain Cemetery in Abu Dhabi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Commander of U.S. Naval Forces Central Command, Commander of the U.S. Fifth Fleet and Commander of Combined Maritime Forces, Vice Admiral Charles Cooper II and Rafa Palace. His Royal Highness affirmed that the depth of the long-standing strategic relations between Bahrain and the U.S. were created through joint work and coordination at various levels. He noted the importance of further developing relations in various fields, especially in the military and defense, to achieve the goals and aspirations of both countries and peoples. His Royal Highness commended the active role of the U.S. and other allied countries in preserving regional security and stability, noting the importance of continuing to consolidate international efforts in this regard. During the meeting, several issues of common interest and the latest regional and international developments were reviewed. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal al-Malki, also attended the meeting. The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'al Limbarak, inspected the forestation work being carried out along the sides and middle of the Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway. The Minister indicated that under the project, nearly 11,720 shade trees will be planted, noting that those types of plants are suitable for the environment of the kingdom and approved in the strategy of the afforestation campaign. He affirmed that the Ministry will continue promoting sustainable urban development to improve the environment by increasing the green area and doubling the number of road trees from 1.8 million now to 3.6 million by 2035 as part of the kingdom's commitment within the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Tim Keen won the Best in Customer Service Award presented by the Contact Center World in recognition of the fund's excellence in the field of customer service. More on this report. Tim Keen seeks to improve the performance of institutions and individuals in the Kingdom of Bahrain to advance development and enable Bahrainis to prosper and contribute to strengthening the national economy by taking great steps with the aim of developing the labor market in Bahrain to support sustainable development and accelerate economic growth and motivate and support Bahraini institutions and competencies to become more strong, competitive and sustainable. Tim Keen is committed to supporting success by providing programs and services with high impact that are tailored to meet the needs of the current market and take advantage of its opportunities. All this support to achieve the goals of sustainable development and increase productivity to develop national competencies and acquire new skills is for Bahrainis to become the first employment option and the most efficient competitor at the local, regional and international levels and to achieve the highest levels of success and bring about a qualitative development shift in the Kingdom of Bahrain. 
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs launched the awareness campaign Travel Safe to educate citizens about travel guidelines within the framework of the ministry's keenness on the safety of citizens while abroad. More on this report. In line with the noble goals and initiatives of the National Plan to promote the spirit of belonging to the nation and reinforce the values of citizenship Bahrainuna, the Travel Safe Initiative comes to raise the awareness of citizens who are traveling for the summer holidays. The travel guidelines begin from planning the trip to arriving to the destination country and the ways to protect the security, safety and properties of citizens during their travel until returning home in a manner that contributes to spreading the necessary awareness and reducing the risks to which citizens may be exposed to a minimum. The campaign also strengthens the role of Bahrain's diplomatic missions abroad their communication with citizens, and introducing them to the nearest diplomatic missions. The awareness campaign Travel Safe is displayed on the Foreign Affairs Ministry's various social media channels, on television, the Bahrain News Agency, and the Bahrain International Airport, among others, with the aim of reaching the largest possible number of citizens. A team of third-year mechanical engineering students at Bahrain Polytechnic designed and built a pioneering solar power four-seater electric club car. More on this report. An electric club car powered by solar energy is an innovative idea and a safe, sustainable and smart design that was implemented by third-year students at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering at Polytechnic University. This project involves around designing and manufacturing a security club car to be used here in, at the Bahrain Polytechnic campus. Uh, it utilizes the solar energy that we have plenty of here in Bahrain as it's mostly sunny all, all year round and utilizes it and converts it into electrical energy that would increase the range and duration of uh, driving the car itself. This uh, security club car can carry four passengers and complies with the safety regulations and speed limits of the campus. Uh, we utilize the solar panel in order to extend the range of the vehicle and, and in addition to uh, charging the batteries with a more green energy source. This idea, which relied on harnessing renewable energy to activate it properly, is the result of continuous research and hard work carried out by students to launch this model. Uh, designing the car with a solar panel and making it utilize renewable energy is our contribution towards achieving Bahrain's 2060 vision for net zero carbon emissions. In doing so, we promote sustainable transportation within campus and set an example to work towards a greener and more sustainable future. Our current goal is to get a safety certificate that will allow us to uh, use the car inside the campus. And as per the directive of the CEO of Bahrain Polytechnic, uh, we are going to continue working on the car in order to reach a professional level that will allow us to invest in it in the future. The performance of a car on campus during its experience was exciting and enjoyable at the same time, as the car showed exceptional performance and stability, which provided a smooth and enjoyable experience while driving it, especially since this car is not only considered an environmentally friendly alternative to traditional vehicles, but also a good project that will be used on the university campus in the future.